Hello hackers! Welcome to the new video where we are going to hack WebShell Upload via Content Type Restriction Bypass Lab from Web Security Academy and powered by Portswigger. So this lab contains a vulnerable image upload function that prevents users from uploading unexpected file types by checking the user controllable input to verify this. And this is a very interesting information that the system is trying to verify the input that came from the front end. And one of the biggest rule in cybersecurity that you never trust the input from the user. And to solve the lab, guys, all what we have to do is to upload a basic PHP web shell file to read the information came from the file secret from the user Carlos. So if you're not very familiar about the RCE or what we call it remote code execution and what this path is, please watch my first video for full explanation. So in this lab, guys, we are going to use PHP documentation to use some of these functions in here and test it in this lab. So if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's start. And uh, here we go, everybody. So the first step, I'm going to activate Foxy Proxy. I'm going to use Community Edition. Then let's go to the proxy, let's click enter spec twice, and let's go to HTTP history. Now let me go to my account. I'm going to connect as a winner and the password of Peter. And now let me log in. I don't need to save any credentials. And now I'm in my profile page. Usually when we try to test the file vulnerability, basically we try to find the way where we can upload any kind of file like image, audio, or videos. And in my profile, I do have this functionality to update my avatar. So this is going to be my focus. So first, I'm going to test it and see how I interact with upload files. So let me click browse in here. So let me go to the downloads. Now I do have this basic image.gpg. And let me click open in here and let me try to upload. And here we go. Now you can see we have this post method slash my account slash avatar. As you can see it in here that I cannot get the response. This is because I got an error. This is unusual behavior from Web Security Academy. But if you find this error, all what we have to do is to deactivate the Foxy proxy. And let me refresh. And let me resend the request again. Okay, so as you can see in my account slash avatar, let me just scroll down. Now you can see in here the information about the file that I'm trying to upload. You can see we have the content disposition, format data, and then we have the name of avatar and the file name is canon.gpg. And in here we have the content type slash image slash gpg. So I'm going to send this to repeater and here we go. I'm going to call it upload file. Here we go. And as you can see, I do have a problem in here for uh, refreshing the page. And here we go. So this is unusual behavior that can happen for you. So if you find it, all what you have to do is to go in here and rerun the lab again. Now, let me continue. So let me back to my account. And here we go. So now I'm going to retry to upload the file again in case that I found this, that error. Let me browse and let me take my picture. Let me upload. And here we go. Now you can see the file avatar has been uploaded. Now let me back to my account. Here we go. Now you can see that I uploaded successfully my image. So you may ask yourself how I can get this file from the file server. I'm going to activate my Foxy proxy again. I'm going to refresh the page. Here we go. Let me back to the proxy. And in my profile page, which is slash my account, I'm going to search to the Conan image. And here we go. Now you can see we found this image tag, which is this one. So I'm going to send this request to repeater. And I'm going to copy this path. Let me go to my repeater and let me paste it over here. 
and let me send. And here we go, now you can see I have a status of 200, let me render it, and here we go, now you can see that I access directly to the file image from the file server. So I'm going to use this endpoint to access to the file, so I'm going to call it get image and have. So my duty actually in the lab is to try to find if this functionality is vulnerable to PHP or not. In my VS Code, so this is a code editor, feel free to use any code editor you want. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it index.php. And here we go. So I'm going to create a PHP code. So first let me open the PHP tag. Here we go, let me close it. And now anything inside this tag is going to run as a PHP code. So first I'm going to check if this PHP is vulnerable to PHP or not. And how I can do this, all I can do is to write PHP info function, which is return information about the PHP system. So let me save, control C, here we go. So now let me just close uh, this VS code. Now, in my browse, I'm going to navigate to the PHP file. Here we go. And now I'm going to check my proxy, which is open. Here we go. Now let me back to the proxy and let me upload. And here we go. Now you can see I have a very, very interesting error in here. So we have, sorry, file type application X PHP is not allowed, only image slash GPG or image slash PNG are allowed. Sorry, there was an error uploading your file. So this is very interesting information that the content type should be changed. So let me go to my slash account. Let me just copy this request in here. Here we go. So let me just scroll down and check the content. Now you can see in here, we have the file name index.php and then in the file content, we have application slash xphp. And here we have the PHP content. So all what I can do is to change this content type with this msgpg or mspng. So in a real case scenario, if we don't get this kind of error, so to know how to change your content type, we can do just back to the previous test for uploading a real image. Let's scroll down and in here you can see the file content. I'm going to copy it from here and I'm going to paste it over here. Here we go, let me send. And here we go, now you can see we have a status of 200 and here we have back to my account. So I don't see this error, which means it's successfully done. So I'm going to copy the file name, which is index.php and in the get image in here, I'm going to change the file name. Here we go, so it's uh, slash index.php and let me send. And here we go guys, now you can see that the server is vulnerable to PHP and I got some information about the PHP server, like the version is 7.4.3 based on Ubuntu server and now you can see I have all the information about the PHP server. So this is a verification that the server is vulnerable to PHP. So now in here, let me back to the upload file and let me try to change this code. So you can do it by just go to your VS code and creating a new file or an easy way I'm going to upload directly from the request. So now let me back to the PHP documentation. So I'm going to use some of these functionalities. So let me scroll down. And in case that I'm going to read a secret file, I need to use this file get contents. So let me just copy it in here. Let me paste it. And let me read a little bit about it. So press control and click on the function. Here we go. So let me deactivate Foxy Proxy. I don't need it anymore. And in here you can see in this function to use it, we have to put it the file name. And then these are options. So let me go to the lab. Let me just copy this path. So in case that this is a string, I need to use a single quote or double quotes. Here we go. And to read this return, we have to use echo comment. And here we go. So the code is ready. So let me send my PHP 
new code. Here we go, now you can see it's 200 and in the get image. So let me send the request and see the new content. And by the way, I don't need to change the name because it's the same name. And here we go. Now you can see I'm able to read the file secret content. So let me go to the pretty. Let me just copy it. And here we go. Let me back to the lab. Let me back to my account. And here we go. So now in my submit solution, let me paste the code and let me send it. So now let me refresh the page and here we go. Now we finally solved the lab. So before moving forward, guys, let's back to PHP documentation and based it on these functionalities, you can do much more like updating the content or read the time of creating file and all these stuffs. So guys, if you liked my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any question, feedback, or suggestion, please put it in the comment below, and stay tuned for the next videos.